Daytona Beach, guys. Right here, I'm passing right next to the world famous Daytona Beach Speedway. And I'll tell you what, my first impression of this place was actually very good. Everything here seems to be very new, very modern. Um, the city itself is clean. You know, going over this bridge towards the beach is a very scenic route. And the whole area just leaves me with a feeling like, wow, maybe I could see myself moving here. Actually, this is one place that I'll be talking about in some future videos that I think is going to be a good place for a lot of people to move to if you want to be in Florida and you don't want to be breaking the bank because it's also very affordable to live here. But that's not what this video is about. Today, I just want to give you a couple of my quick first impressions of the area since it was my first time ever being here. And one thing we just had to do was come over and take a drive on the beach. Many people have mentioned this in the comments before. I was hesitant to do it, but we, we really wanted to do it. And I'm glad we did because it was a load of fun. It was like $20 for the whole day. You could come on and off the beach as much as you want and that includes parking on the beach so if you actually wanted to stop and you know bring your beach chairs or lunch or whatever out there you can do that too but just the whole experience of doing it and seeing what that was like was a pretty cool thing if i lived here i wouldn't be doing it like this all the time but they do have um, yearly passes that you can buy which I think would be pretty helpful as a resident here if you want to come to the beach regularly because this beats trying to find parking somewhere on the street and hauling all your crap out to the beach so today I'm out at Daytona Beach just taking a drive down the beach which is pretty interesting never done that before and we're on our way up to St. Augustine Let's check out the beach here real quick and see what it's like. One thing, obviously, the sand is like super compact. That's probably why they let you drive out here. So the sand is very hard. And this beach reminds me a lot of being in LA because the sand is kind of harder like this and flatter. And then the water kind of just rolls up the beach like this in a very shallow way, you know. Um, here, it's like you probably have to walk quite a bit out into the water in order to actually get into some deep water. You see like those ladies standing over there, they're like well into the water and it's only like up to their ankles. So that's definitely a lot different than Miami. And it's just a cool place, it seems like. I know some people said it's like trashy or ghetto and I could see that in maybe some of these hotels, they look like kind of crappy, but you know, it seems like a fun place to let you drive on the beach and park on the beach. It's like 20 bucks to come out here and drive on the beach for one day. So it's a little pricey, but since it includes parking and it's kind of a cool experience, I would definitely recommend doing it if you're ever up this way because it's pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna walk out to the water a little bit and see how the water temperature feels. Being all the way up the coast like this, I would imagine it's a little bit cooler than the water in Miami. The water's still a little on the cool side at home in Miami. It's not bath water yet, but it'll be getting there soon. This actually doesn't feel too bad. This feels about the same as home, actually. I'm surprised being this far north and the water is not that much colder, really. That's pretty cool. I actually kind of like this beach. Daytona Beach.